today I have my fall nail polish picks. I apologize if I get really sniffly. Um, fall means fall colors and allergies for me. So I'm trying to like edit it out and control myself, but my nose is like completely out of control. The first ones that I have, it's kind of like, I don't know, first category they have is like really dark creams. Um, most of these are from Essie. <laughs> I have three here that kind of fall into the almost black but not black uh, category. I have quite a few of these, mostly from Essie, and these ones are my favorites. The first one is Stylenomics, which is a deep, deep dark green. Again, almost black. Um, in most lighting it will look black. Actually, in my lighting right now, I'm not in sunlight, and it still looks like the color that it's supposed to be, but it's one of those things where like people that aren't too versed in nail polish, which makes me sound really conceited, um, will think that it's just black, but you know that it's not. And so yeah, Stylenomics is a very dark, deep green like that, and I really like this one. The next one is also from Essie. This is Little Brown Dress. This one is a little more obviously brown um, than the other two. I don't know what makes the difference, but it just, you can tell that it's brown rather than black. But I really like this one. I really like brown in the fall time anyway. And the last one is my absolute favorite, and this is After School Boy Blazer. This came out last year. And this is a very, very deep, almost black navy blue. I think this one is the most easily confused for black out of the three, just because it's blue, and it's just, which is like pretty much black. There's no like other tone to it. But yeah, I really like this one also. Um, probably one of my favorite blues. Close to one of my favorite blues, I think. At least this time of year. The next one is Essie's Skirting the Issue, and this is a very deep kind of oxblood red color. This is my absolute favorite color to wear on my toes. It's practically on my toes all the time, including right now. And I just absolutely love this. And in the fall time, I like to kind of move it up to my fingers, but I really like any kind of deep berry red color like this. This one's a little bit more of a jelly, I would say, than a cream, but it's opaque in two coats. So again, that is Essie's Skirting the Issue. A lot of these are not part of a permanent collection because they came out in, um, you know, fall collections over the last couple of years, but you can find them all on Amazon. The last one that I have, I'm not 100% where you'll be able to find this. I don't think this is available anymore. This whole line might actually have been discontinued. This is the Revlon Color Stay in Jungle, and it is just a very deep forest kind of piney green color, and I really like this one. I really like these Color Stay polishes. I didn't ever actually pick any up until they started to kind of phase them out and they all went on clearance. But these are really nice. They have a really good brush. The brush is like really short, um, which makes it easier to control where it's going. So it's short and wider, I guess. It's not super wide, but it's wider. So anyway, yeah. I don't know. You could try Amazon for this one, but you might have to go to like the deep dark depths of eBay to actually find it if you're like intent on finding this color. The next little category that I've cooked up are kind of just like all things sparkly. <laughs> so the first one that I have is from China Glaze. This one is Glitter Goblin and this is actually from a Halloween collection like quite a few years ago but it is a orange and silver holographic micro glitter. Um, it's really really pretty. It's got, you know, it's orange so it's got the like fall Halloween feel to it but then it sparkles like crazy because the holographic silver micro glitter that's mixed in and it's really awesome. I'm not sure, I mean obviously you can't go into a store and find this but you should be able to find it on Amazon pretty easily. If you can't find it there, I think I got this from Head to Toe Beauty um, not that long ago. Like they should still have it because they have a ton of like older China Glaze collections if you sift through all the pages so that's an option. Next one that I have is from OPI, and this is Golden Eye. This is an amazing, like, glass fleck, liquid gold looking polish. This is one of my favorite golds ever. I love this polish. The downside, it's sheer. It takes like three coats to actually get what's in the bottle on your nail, but it's totally worth it because it really looks just like liquid gold on your nails. And I love these kind of metallic, you know, everything, anything that's like really sparkly, really shiny, and very like fall leaf colored. That's my favorite stuff for fall. And this falls into all of those categories. So again, this is OPI's Golden Eye. I would try Amazon for this one as well. And the last two are Liquid Sands. The first one is Make Him Mine from OPI, obviously, Liquid Sand. This came out in the Mariah Carey Holiday Collection last year, and it is just a beautiful, like, I don't want to call it rose gold, but it's a very, like, light pink toned metallic now it's on the floor. It's a very light pink toned metallic um, liquid sand. It has 
like the sparkliness of the liquid sand and then there's some um, chunkier like hex glitters mixed into it as well. I'm looking at it on the floor. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of on the fence for me between a rose gold and just like a straight up like metallic pink. Um, but it's really, really beautiful. And the next one is what I have on my nails right now. And this is um, Alcatraz Rocks. So this is absolutely gorgeous as liquid sand. You know the liquid sands kind of, they dry down, they're gritty. So they're not like super, super glossy. Uh, this is gorgeous. This is a very deep, um, bluish, bluish. It's blue, it's dark, but it's also almost got like a tinge of something else in there, like a purple or a gray, or it's hard for me to describe. Um, but then it has a very strong gold shimmer to it. It sparkles like crazy when you're putting it on and it's still wet. You'll lose a lot of that sparkle when it dries down. I haven't top coated this, but I really think this is the only texture polish in my entire collection that I prefer top coated because it really makes the glitter and the sparkle like extra crazy sparkly and you just it's beautiful when it's wet and you just don't get that when it dries so I'm putting this in here but I'm also suggesting that this is top coated because it's absolutely amazing with top coat when it's glossy and you can use um, a few layers of top coat because the grit will like soak up a lot of the actual top coat and so you'll need a couple layers to get it glossy or you can try something like the Nail Pattern Boldness Glitter Food, um, which should fill it in in one coat. But it dries matte, so you need to put like another glossier top coat over top of it. So you still need two coats of top coat, but you don't need three or four, which is what you need, you know, if you used a different one. So, yeah, that's an option. Like I said, it's really beautiful, but I much prefer it top coated. So I have some indies. Um, I have these indies, and then I also picked out some like specifically for Halloween indies because fall equals Halloween, and I know it's really early, but I need to throw them in there. Candy Lacquer's Halloween stuff is coming out at the beginning of next month, and I'm freaking out, so hopefully those are good. The next one that I have is from Loaded Lacquer, and this is Steampunked. This has a lot of different um, metal tone glitters in it. There's silver, copper, um, like bronze, and there's matte black, and there's gold as well. There's uh, squares, I see little itty bitty bars, some tiny hexes, larger hexes, um, circles. Anyway, um, this is amazing. The gold squares in here, I've said this before, they look like they're curved, like they're curled, but they lay flat on the nail, so they have this really cool kind of multi-dimensional effect to them. But this is like perfect fall colors. Um, it just makes me think of fall and crunchy leaves and everything's like dying but for some reason it's still really pretty so yeah that is Loaded Lacquer's Steampunked. I'll link Loaded Lacquer down below. This next one I almost didn't include because I didn't think that this indie seller like even existed anymore but I'm pretty sure they came back. Um, I think it's the same one. I'll link them down below so you guys can check them out. Um, I've seen them on Instagram under what I believe is the same name and I think I've seen this actual polish on there recently. This is from Hit Polish and this one is called Autumn Harvest. This has um, matte brown and then matte red, metallic orange, uh, metallic gold, metallic green. It's gorgeous. It is like perfect. Um, like when you picture the freaking like Thanksgiving um, you know, pilgrims at the table with all the produce and stuff, like these are the colors that you picture and this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this one and I'm really hoping that um, who I think is the seller is back and is making this again. Like I said, I'll link what I find down below. It might take a little bit of research though. So again, that is Hit Polishes Autumn Harvest. So the next ones that I have are all Halloween polishes, which I'm really excited about. I will start with the one that I don't know if you can still get. This is also from Hit Polish, who I said before, I think they're back, but I'm not 100%. And this one is just called Halloween. This has a metallic um, orange, a very, very deep metallic purple, black, green, and um, like it almost, it should be like a holographic silver, but it looks like it has more of a blue tint to it, of uh, bars and hexes and squares. And it's just like the perfect like deep, dark Halloween colors. Like it's so much better than just a red and black because it makes you think of like I don't know, like Frankenstein, and like it's got all those cool colors, the deep purple and the green and everything. I really, really like this one. So hopefully they're still making this one as well. I'm not 100%, but like I said, I'll link the seller down below. And the next ones are all from Candy Lacquer because I love Candy Lacquer's Halloween polishes, and I'm so hoping that, I mean, I've seen like quick pictures, but no swatches of um, this year's, so hopefully they're good. Um, the first two, I'm putting these both in here. I don't think you can get either one of them, unfortunately anymore, but you should be able to find something like this because this is a fairly 
popular um, color mix for Halloween. I'm hoping she does something like this this year. The first one is Halloween candy. This was like a major lemming of mine and I managed to find it on Trace Face Files blog sale. Because this is not from, this is from 2012 and it was like right before I got into candy lacquer. This is a white, black, red, green, yellow, orange, I think that's it, um, glitter mix. It's all matte glitter. And then there's those really long skinny bars and hexes and squares in there. And it's just like the perfect, it really does look like a bag of Halloween candy. And I was really, really excited to finally get this one. And I got it like after Halloween last year, so I get to wear it this year for Halloween and I'm really excited. Like I said, I'll link candy lacquer down below because there is some new stuff coming out. Um, the next one is very similar to that. This one is from last year. This is Candies and Crossbones. It's all matte, orange, red, green, yellow, black, just like before. Um, there seems to be more of the orange and yellow and red, like more of the warmer toned glitters in there. And then this also has white skull and crossbones glitter because that was like a brand new thing around this time last year. Like I said, I don't think you can get either one of these anymore, but you should be able to find something similar and hopefully from Candy Lacquer because I feel like, you know, maybe she's making something with those colors every year just because it is like a popular color. Next one is Pumpkin Party from Candy Lacquer and this one came with pumpkins and I didn't mix them into it and I lost them which is why I started mixing the larger chunky glitters in because otherwise I would lose them. <laughs> this is um, matte orange, like a reddish orange, green, purple. It's got black shredded in there. There's circles. It's just really gorgeous. It's predominantly orange because it's pumpkin-y, um, but it's beautiful. And these, I don't know, the colors that she put into her all Halloween stuff last year, really, really amazing. So I really like this one as well. And then similar to that with that same feel of like the really cool matte, like light colors, but they're still fall colors, um, glitters, even though this isn't, whatever. This is Zombielicious. And this is the matte green. There's like three different shades of matte green in here. And then there's like the light, like lavender kind of pastel purple, like which is a zombie color. And I never realized it was, but it makes sense. Um, and then yellow and um, like a watermelony pinky red color. There's some black shredded. This is absolutely amazing. Um, I actually wore this for the first time in the spring. It's really bad. I bought this like when it came out in Halloween time and then didn't wear it until spring. I wore this over China Glaze Grasses Lime Greener and I, it's like a little bit, the green tones in here is just a little bit off from the green of that polish. So it just made everything like kind of blend together but still stand out. It's hard to explain. My words are gone today, but it's really gorgeous and I love this one. I really hope that you will be able to find this on a vlog sale or that maybe it's still available on the website. Um, if you scroll down far enough, I don't think so though. Um, or that something similar will come out this year because this is just absolutely amazing. So those are my fall slash Halloween nail polish picks slash favorites. I don't want to say picks because some of them you can't get anymore, but I still wanted to show them to you guys. So it's a little bit of both. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.